handlers make the dog search up and down along the straight line that marks the danger zone. As the day slips by, more and more land is cleared without an indication of anything lurking below the surface. But there are so many landmines in this country, it won't be much longer before one of the dogs finds something. As the temperature rises, Danny is getting hot under the collar and a little frustrated. He catches a trace of TNT in the air and immediately scratches the ground to bring up the smell. This is extremely dangerous, as the pressure of his paws on a landmine could be just enough to set it off. Generally speaking, if he was to step on a landmine, his weight wouldn't normally set it off, but pouring the ground to get a better scent is another matter. The extra pressure on the ground could be just enough to detonate the mine. But this forbidden behaviour has worked. Suddenly, he hones in on one spot. Perhaps his scratching has found something. Danny's handler, Mohammed Asif, knows something is up. Suddenly, Danny sits and faces Mohammed Asif. It's the sign that he has found something. Is it a landmine or an unexploded bomb? The tension is high. Danny has detected the smell of TNT. He sits riveted to the spot. He knows if he moves before he is called, he won't get his reward. The ball will stay in Mohammed Asif's pocket. This is the most dangerous time for the dogs. There's no room for mistakes. Over the past 10 years, four dogs have been killed by landmines. Danny eyeballs his handler, looking for the instant he calls him to get his reward. The dogs are taught this passive response to react in a calm, cool way. One thing the handlers can't afford is for the dogs to get excited. The handler must have total control. Both he and his dog's life depends on it. Once Mohammed Asif is sure he has the dog's full attention, he drops his arm. Daddy, come. 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 Woo! Get it, get it. Good dog. Very nice. Somewhere in this vicinity is a landmine that could contain as much as six kilos of TNT, enough to blow a tank to smithereens. Now it's the turn of the manual deminer to defuse the mine and kill it before it kills. His first job is to identify whether it is a mine or a harmless piece of shrapnel. To do that, he delicately clears the soil around it and takes a first look. His next job is to destroy it. Very carefully, he places explosive charges next to it. Moves a safe distance away and the mine is blown up. These men and these dogs are unquestionably heroes. Every minute of their working day, they literally look death in the eyes as they think of the children, the women, and the men who've been killed or maimed, and the refugees, the people who can't safely go outside their homes. <laughs> Anyone can make a mistake. The problem with demining, your first mistake is probably your last. We never know if we will be going home at the end of the day. And while the manual deminer is dicing with death, at the dog training center there is concern. One of the trainee dogs has found something suspicious. Has he sniffed TNT? It could be a bomb, but it turns out to be just shrapnel, the remains of a bomb. Good. The smell of TNT from the bomb still lingers in the air. Despite the alarm, it is a good sign that the dog knows what he is looking for. TNT has a very strong smell. It's not going less after, after using or after environment. It's, it's have continuously the same smell, 
the smell is able to, to come in through plastic cases, it's coming through glass, it's coming through uh, water. This, mine we lost for three this is Mario Bohr. He's a technical advisor to the training centre. He began his training career with the former East German Army and has been sent out by the German government who fund the demining project. He is the only foreigner in the 1100 strong Afghan demining force. In charge of training is Zanadine. Along with Mario, it is his job to decide which dogs are sufficiently trained to, to safely yeah? sniff for landmines. He is a former Mujahideen freedom fighter who fought the Russians during Afghanistan's War of Liberation. Along with Mario, he is preparing a test minefield to see which dogs are good enough to join the dogs of peace. You know, our job is very important uh, to help the people it's very difficult to train the dogs. It's not easy for the people to work with the dogs. For these men and dogs, their partnership must be total. They have to trust one another completely if they are both to survive the challenges ahead.